Hi, and welcome to this first video about Langchain. Uh, I've made previous video about semantic kernel, but I think that it's uh, really important to also know Langchain because Langchain is a really mature and widely used framework that simplify building application around large language model, both uh, commercial and online model like GPT, but also um, model that can you run locally from Hugging Face. And uh, since this is a really interesting uh, library, I think it's worth, even if you're using semantic kernel, know how to use Langchain. Now, Langchain uh, is different from semantic kernel, especially in language it supports. It's mainly written in Python, but it has also TypeScript um, library. So you can work both in Python and in TypeScript, but uh, mainly in Python. And it has the same concept of semantic kernel plugin, but in Langchain, they are called tools. And a tool is a simply piece of code, a piece of Python code that is capable of solving a problem. So the uh, an, an agent can simply have a list of tool it can use, and each tool is associated to a description that clearly identify what the tool can do. And so the agent can use the large language model powerful potentiality to choose the right tool to use. Um, it's the same thing we saw in the semantic kernel video. The first example is really simple. As I told you in a previous video, all of the important settings, secret, API key, and everything are stored inside the .m file. So in the first part of the notebook, I'm simply loading that file with all the secret, all the parameter I need to interact with um, OpenAI uh, Azure endpoint. In this first video, I'm not using anything related to Langchain, and I want to just demonstrate how simply it is to use the very basic functionality of Langchain. In this situation, I have a tool, but basically I simply have a Python function. Nothing special, I have a Python function, a description, a description and this Python function is usually, is only uh, using uh, FFmpeg to extract an audio file from a video, nothing more. I have another function that is simply taking an audio file as input and it uses uh, OpenAI Whisper to create a transcript of the audio file. This function is also a simple Python function, nothing special. Then I have my third tool, and this tool is using a GPT-4 for taking the whole transcript of the video and compressing into a compressor timeline. I wanna use GPT-4 because I want to use the most powerful language. No, it's not enough 3.5 because I need it to be able to um, analyze all the timeline and decide which are the section. And as you can see, I'm doing the call, not directly with the OpenAI SDK, but I wanna use Langchain very basic capabilities. And in the first uh, step, I need to create a large language model. The Langchain large language model is uh, an instance of a class that is capable to interact with a large language model. In this example, I'm using Azure OpenAI. So I just need to pass the various parameter, the endpoint, the API key, the model name, and uh, important, the OpenAI API version to uh, make the tool aware of which kind of functionality this deployment supports. And this is important because uh, the deployment GPT 3.5, GPT 4 have various API improvement during this month. So you need to be sure to specify the version that is the correct version you have in your endpoint. So Langchain can use all the new functionalities the API are uh, exposing. Then I specify my prompt with a placeholder in curly braces. So you can see in this prompt, I've simply specified that I want the GPT to summarize my timeline and I place the text parameter as the parameter for the timeline extracted with OpenAI Whisper. And then I can simply use the prompt template function from Langchain to take a prompt template, pass a dictionary of parameter that allow me to create the final prompt. Once I've created my final prompt, I can create a basic 
LLM chain. And this is the most basic interaction with a large language model that accept a prompt template and a large language model. So you can simply take uh, the chain and call the run method, populating the parameter that the template is expecting. So as you can see, I've created a simple string with a parameter called text. Then thanks to prompt template function, I've created the final prompt template that still accepts one parameter called text. And finally, I have created a chain between the prompt and the large language model in which I can invoke the run function passing the real parameter that the prompt is expecting. And this basically call my GPT-4 with, without anything, without knowing um, API or anything, just using the very basic functionality of Langchain. In the transcript notebook, I'm now mounting everything together, creating the tool. And here I'm creating another large language model. Uh, be wary. In the first example, I described a function that is a standalone function. I'm going to import as a tool, but it's a standalone function that is creating its own version of the large language model. Now I want to use Langchain to uh, perform a much complex operation, not only uh, calling one function. I want um, Langchain to create an agent for um, satisfying the task of the user. So I need to choose the large language model that will be used by the agent for understanding what to do next. And in this situation, I'm simply using GPT 3.5 because I think that for this task, GPT 3.5 is enough and it's fast and more economic than GPT 4. So this is the large language model I will use for the orchestration. Then I proceed to create two instances of both the classes that contains my tool. And as you can see, these are simply Python classes with method. So I can, as an example, I can simply call the extract audio method from the audio video tool without no problem. They are simply um, uh, Python class without any anything fancy. Now it's time to create the array of tools that are available to my agent. And it's simple, an array where I can use the most basic uh, method from the Langchain tool library to create a tool in a simple from function. So a tool from function simply accept a function, a um, uh, Python function. You just give a description, a name, and uh, that's all you need. Uh, th that's all you need for defining the tool. Uh, nothing more. Just a disclaimer. This is not probably the best way to create a tool. It is the simpler, and it allow me to demonstrate the very basic usage of uh, Langchain in how simple it is to start without anything fancy. You can just have other function in your library without any special um, decorator, any special functionality. They are just function you can import in a tool array and use it in your um, in your interaction with Langchain. Now, here is where the magic start happening because uh, I'm creating an agent. An agent is uh, is the core, is one of the core objects of Langchain. And an agent is capable of uh, taking a user request as an input and is able to use a large language model and the set of tool you give to the agent to satisfy the request of the user. So as you can see, it needs um, some parameter. It needs the array of tools that are available. It needs the large language model it will use for uh, doing reasoning. And it needs the type of the agent. And in this situation, we have uh, the simplest form of agent called zero shot react description and the final parameter verbose equal to true. It is important because it uh, allow the agent to dump uh, nice information in the UI, just showing you what is going on. Now, uh, just a um, description of what the zero shot React description agent does. And it, it is based on React framework. I'm not going to describe you how this, um, how this framework works, but basically it needs no memory. So it does not need any memory, any database, anything else to work. It just proceeds in step and it's basically uh, an interaction with the large language model like this. 
I have the user question, I have the set of tools, so I'm asking to the large language model, hey, I have this question from the user, I have this tool, what do I do next? And the large language model probably answer you. You need to call the tool, blah, blah, blah. You call the tool, you get a new output, and then you come back to the large language model telling, hey, this is the question of the user. I already called the first plugin. What should I do next? So you don't need any database, anything else to proceed and to solve the user question. You just need a series of interaction with the large language model configuring the agent. And the nice thing is that you don't need to know React framework. You don't need to prompt, create a prompt. It's just Langchain that has a well-crafted and widely tested prompt that the agent will use. So you don't need to do anything. You can customize the prompt, but just for simplicity, using the zero short React description, you can use the React framework without even knowing how it works. Now I have uh, already executed all the previous parts. So I've created the large language model, I've imported all the tool, and I've created the agent. Now I can simply use the agent to solve a user question like, I need to summarize a timeline for a video. So basically what I'm expecting is to call all of my three plugins, extract audio, then from the audio with OpenAI Whisper, extract the full timeline, and then use my summarized timeline, the code GPT-4, for creating a summarization of the timeline based on the full transcription. Now, let's press run, and let's look at what is happening. As you can see, it starts dumping information, and uh, all this information helps me to understand what's going on, and uh, they are uh, dumped thanks to the verbose true parameter of the agent. But let's look at the first steps. So it starts with entering agent executor chain. So it starts uh, querying the agent. So the agent starts and I need to extract the audio, blah, blah, blah. It is asking to the large language model, this is the user question, what, what I need to do next? And the answer is action extract audio. So the large language model answer to the agent, you need to call the extract audio plugin. Then since extract audio plugin is a Python function, agent call the Python function and get an output. So the large language model gives the action input. It's the name of the file. And then it starts with an, an observation. The observation is the result of the previous tool. So the new observation is a WAV file. And so the React framework is going to ask again to the large language model, okay, what should I do next? The React framework is based on a special prompt that makes the large language model think. So what gets after the second interaction is a thought. So the large language model thought that based on the new observation, the WAV file, now that I have a WAV file, I can create a full track script because I have the, the large language model know that from the list of tools, it has the transcript timeline. So it tells to the agent, you can call the transcript, transcript timeline and using the action input, the name of the WAV file. And as you can see, it is simply using my OpenAI Whisper, you see the progress bar that's completed, that extracted all of my timeline. Now I have another observation, the full transcript of the file. And so it goes on interaction after interaction until the large language model determine that you, it, it has the answer of the user question or it cannot proceed anymore. And so there's an error. It does not understand how to satisfy the user request. And as you can see in this situation, the agent uh, was not able to provide the final answer because the problem, as you can see, is the last thought is now that I have the full transcription, I need to create a summarize a timeline. The action is the summarize a timeline, but the action input is full transcription from previous action. And uh, it, it is not the correct, um, it, it, it is not the correct information. So it create a prompt with that parameter. So the, the call failed. But nevertheless, this is important because it helps you to understand how simple it is uh, to create uh, uh, an agent that is capable 
to solve a complex question using a set of tools with very few lines of Python code. And this concludes this first video uh, on a brief introduction to Langchain in which you saw how simple it is to use Langchain to call a large language model and to create a simple agent that is capable to use React framework for solving a complex um, operation with the React framework and without any complex thing, just a few lines of Python code. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you to the next one.